regarding to the movie we were supposed to watch or today's in Paris, I would say that the quote from the review expresses aptly the core of the film. As it says at first sight, uh, the film really seems to depict the, the immense gaps between two cultures, uh, namely between the American and the French culture. But what is more important than the differences as such are the particular situations in which they can come out. Uh, using the aspects described in the intercultural inter toolbox, sorry, uh, the following differences might be also regarded as the stereotypes. One of them, especially the noticeable one, or, or the especially the most noticeable one, is uh, multiple passion of French people. Uh, it relates to the natural, unforced, and vital way of the way French people speak and express themselves. Uh, to the energy and order, uh, and last but not least, uh, to their love life. Uh, Marion's uh, American boyfriend Jack is caught off guard by uh, by becoming aware of the truth of his girlfriend, of his French girlfriend, meeting her ex-lovers and secretly reading the messages in her phone. Uh, and he also furiously looked up the meanings of of the of the words in a dictionary. Uh, when it comes to, a rela to relationships, uh, there seems to be a significant difference between French and American people. Uh, since the French are used not to take confidentiality and intimacy in a couple so seriously, which can be noticed when Marion shows the photo of naked Jack hung with air balls to the members of her family, Jack as an opposite. Uh, gives us the impression of a rather reserved uh, man. Uh, being jealous and even possessive, he is he is a strict defender of faithfulness. So I would say this is this is one of the big differences between them. Uh, a stereotype regarding intelligence of American people is shown when Marianne's father starts to test Jack's knowledge of French and American writers. And every time Jack answer, answers correctly, uh, the parents show, show their sur surprise, pleasant surprise, and they also sometimes show bravo, which might look as admiration to someone on, on one hand, but on the other hand, I would say it co could be quite humiliating to Jack. Or for Jack. Uh, and another stereotype appearing in the in the film is unwillingness and uh, inability of French people to speak or to communicate in any other language than French. And even though Jack uh, does not speak French, at least he tries to use some words uh, he knows when speaking to Marianne's parents. And in my opinion, what also might be taken into consideration when discussing the habits in communication of the members uh, of both French and American cultures is the shepherd wolf hypothesis. In the film, we can observe how the mother tongue uh, of the particular people influence their way of thinking and behavior. Often the people have similar characteristic features as the language they speak. Uh, what surprised me was that when one of the taxi drivers looked at Jack as a foreigner with disfavor, yeah, so and but Marion considered it as normal or typical for friends. Thank you.